There was a hugely emotional atmosphere all around Croke Park this evening as the Capacity crowd and the Ireland rugby squad combined for a rousing and full-blooded rendition of Aron the Vian. Moments earlier, the England players and visitors were just as vocal in their performance of God Save the Queen as they psyched themselves up for what was to prove a pulsating encounter. Johnny Wilkinson put England into an early lead with this penalty in the second minute. But Ronan O'Gara then steadied the home ship with three penalties, which put Ireland ahead by nine points to three. Eddie O'Sullivan's men were now up and running, and tries from Gervin Dempsey and David Wallace gave them a comfortable 23 points to three lead at the break. England fought back early in the second half as this try from new cap David Strettle helped them cut the gap to 26 points to 13. But after that, it was another All-Ireland day at Croke Park as the home side resumed control. Ronan O'Gara and Shane Horgan here combining in a great Gaelic football move that would grace any occasion at GAA headquarters. Presented for Stringer, O'Gara, crossfield kick, Shane Horgan's in position. Oh yes! What a try! Executed magnificently! The brilliant O'Gara was in the form of his life and again he landed the conversion, making it 8 from 8. Then, just for good measure, replacement scrum half Isaac Boss claimed a late interception try, which sent the Croke Park fans wild with delight as Ireland got their Six Nations Championship campaign back on track and the home supporters at last savoured the sweet taste of an historic victory of the sort so cruelly denied them just 13 days ago. Well, we wanted, two weeks ago we wanted to do the occasion justice and the big thing was to get a win and same this week, I suppose it was maybe equally as historical because we were playing England, so the big thing was to get a win and uh, do the day justice, and, and I think we did that. Um, I suppose there was, was a lot of emotions flying out there from the very start, you know, the anthems and, uh, and just running out into the pitch for the warm-ups, uh, the crowd and their response to us. And then uh, I suppose when we went into the game, it was, it was, it was very passionate as well in, in terms of the rugby we played, and uh, um, it was just a very special day, I think, in, in all, on all fronts. Yeah, I think that one won't be forgotten for a while. Um, any time I've played against England I've only, and, and won, I've only ever won by a score. So um, to nearly triple their, their scoreline or, or triple it um, is, is massively pleasing.